Hey everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session. Another lecture for MRC's exam. This is the question and answer session, and question and answer session will help you a lot to prepare yourself for MRC's exam. So here the question: A 43 years old lady underwent an attempted placement of central line into the internal jugular vein. Unfortunately, the doctor damaged the carotid artery and the necessitated surgical exploration. As the surgeon incised the carotid sheet, a nerve is identified lying between the internal jugular vein and the carotid artery. Which of the following is the nerve most likely? So it is one of the big scenario. From this scenario, we have to pick up the key point to answer the question. So here we can see a 43 years old lady underwent attempted placement of the central line or CV line into the internal jugular vein and we know that the internal jugular vein it located in the neck area it starts from the sigmoid sinus and then it descends down into the thoracic cavity unfortunately the doctor damaged the carotid artery and surgical exploration required then after incision of the carotid sheet a nerve is identified so the nerve is located within the carotid sheet with the carotid artery and the internal jugular vein so this nerve is very important and it is located within the carotid sheet with the internal jugular vein and carotid artery we have to find out the name of this nerve so it is emergency for us to find out name of this nerve for the answer of the question so we had the options options are glossopharyngeal nerve hypoglossal nerve superior laryngeal nerve recurrent laryngeal nerve and vagus nerve now see the picture here so here we can see this is the carotid sheet and within the carotid sheet there is the this is the internal jugular vein and cv line done usually this internal jugular vein and we can see this is the carotid artery common carotid external carotid and internal carotid artery and this carotid artery is very close to the internal jugular vein so during the cv line procedure the needle may pierce this carotid artery and causes severe hemorrhage so in this procedure if we open this carotid sheet we can see a cylindrical nerve present and this nerve is the vagus nerve so the vagus nerve it lies within the carotid sheet with the carotid artery and internal jugular vein and here we can see the content of the carotid sheet here this is the internal carotid artery common carotid artery internal jugular vein and cranial nerve 10 which is the vagus nerve so this vagus nerve is located within the carotid sheet in this picture also we can see this whole circular structure is the carotid sheet and here we can see the common carotid artery and it is the internal jugular vein and we can see the vagus nerve also present within the carotid sheet so the vagus nerve it is located within the carotid sheet so during the surgical exploration of the carotid artery this nerve which is the vagus nerve is identified with the internal jugular vein and carotid artery thank you all